that. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. Today's topic is about making peace with your expectations. I watch tons of different keto people and like a lot of new to the program people, just like when it was Weight Watchers, new to Weight Watchers, everybody expects the whoosh to be a daily occurrence. And sometimes I've seen podcasts with young people, mostly women, and each week they lose a phenomenal amount of weight. They're young. Some of them are like one third of my age. So if you are way past 50 and just starting this out, you probably have a real good old case of insulin resistance and maybe some other brewing health concerns that can affect your met metabolic syndrome issues, okay? Especially if you've been a yo-yoer and you know what a yo-yoer is. It's not in a competition, trust me. It's jumping from plan to plan thinking the next one is going to be the answer. Now I call keto a food plan versus a food diet because for me it's become a lifestyle. It's a way of eating. It's something I plan to be on forever. The, um, the need to have grains or sugars in my food plan is um, pretty distant past. Did I have expectations when I did this? I'm not sure. I went from Weight Watchers to low carb, high fat, to keto under 20. And so all the way along, I kind of stay in the now. It It's good for me with my uh, food addiction issues and other issues. It's just really good for me to stay in the day. What does that mean? That means that I have tracked my food. It's under 20 carbs. I might even done have done some meal prepping along the way. And I'm not sitting there thinking the big answer is going to show on the scale. Sure, I have my skinny moments when I'm lying there in bed and you feel, you know, your belly. <clears throat> and it's like, oh, this is going to be a good weigh-in. And then you hop on the scale and it says 0.8 gain. I'm very familiar with that. <clears throat> and sometimes uh, I, I already noticed, um, and we've only had a couple of hot days, I've already noticed that putting on a ring that was loose, uh, three days ago is now tight putting on going over the knuckles so my body starts to do that heat retention of fluids. I don't know why. I'm 66 and a half. It's been going on all my life. Uh, one thing though is that without eating sugars and grains that keto bloat has the least bit of that not keto bloat the beached whale bloat has the least amount of a chance with me this summer because I'm not filling up on sugars and grains and it's not 80 percent humidity and 85 degrees and I'm sitting there with this huge belly feeling like oh god shoot me now so making peace with your expectations staying grateful for what is going on instead of being petulant about what you feel you still deserve to get from doing this food plan. You're gonna get what you're gonna get. That's how that rolls. And every person is different. If you're listening to a 22 year old woman who hasn't had 40 more years of metabolic damage going to her body, then the fact that she's just melting pounds away, it's probably um, gonna hurt a little bit to watch that and not have the same, the same uh, success or um, effects of going keto and so you know be real you know that's why that's why I think a lot of older people watch this channel because we're not sitting there thinking that we should have the snap back that somebody that is 22 will have and maybe that 22 year old hasn't even had a baby yet right so you know be gentle with yourselves if you're around my age and you've been yo-yo dieting 
or just every year you gain 10 more pounds and suddenly you got 62 pounds to lose and it's like how did I get here and your doctor's making noises about scripts and you've never had that noise made before and it's like well I've listened to a few podcasts from people talk about notice statins and um, try the keto you might be able to give up diabetes medication or um, overcome being a di type 2 diabetic things like that you know those are goals but they aren't going to happen overnight you've had a lot of steps into that dense forest of garbage and crappy things and artificial chemical things that like are supposed to taste like real food and things like that or or like me coming from Weight Watchers thinking I can have six to eight fruits a day because they gave me permission so my expectations of keto are definitely in check for my age and my stage I still do it I hit all the bases so then I'm not sitting there saying <clears throat> I wonder why it's not working I have a history in my chronometer where I can see why things might be awry. Is it too many carbs? Is it more calories than I need? Is it high fat when I don't need it because I'm, I've been on keto for uh, over six months now and I don't need to have that amount of fat because I'm already fat adapted? There's so many different things and every body is different for sure. But making peace with whatever expectation that you have really makes sense. You know, I see ads with older women at the beach in summer wear, and, and some are lucky they can still wear sleeveless. Not me. Some are lucky they can wear bathing suits. Not me. Some are lucky they don't have the slabs of back fat, like over and under the bra in the back. Not so for me. It's excess skin, but it's still you know, looks like flab, and, um, and, and then throw in varicose veins from, you know, 30 years of waiting on tables, too. Why not? You know, waitress legs. It's like they're not going to go away. Um, and they aren't, you know, you can't get them fixed um, that easy with health insurance. So they sit, they remain. And so there's a lot of cover-up going on for me. I'm realistic. I don't have the um, dream of being in a bikini, you know, lying in a lounge chair, but nobody can watch me get in or out. <laughs> you know that folding up and down? Yeah. No. It's not happening. My expectations are real. What are my what expectations have been met for me? Well, I believe I'm at my set point weight and it fluctuates um, between the low, which is one number, and then the high, which is the high end of the second number, and the pounds are, you know, it's, they're next to each other. It's not like a five pound, it's like that pound and that pound, from this low to this high. And so that's, that's an expectation that I never even dreamed of. Um, eight hours of sleep every night, uh, sometimes even more. That's an expectation that wasn't happening for me ever. In the summer, I would clock about five hours, and in the winter, maybe six. And now I get much better sleep, much deeper REM time. Even a cat nap, I feel that I've fallen into that deep sleep. It's great. Constipation, it's not, it's not anything that's happening for me. Um, the headaches the lethargy, the, all the other kind, the mood, the mood is like this. These are expectations that I didn't even know I had that happened. You know, you, sometimes you get so used to the, like that nail in your shoe, that pebble in your shoe, that until it's removed, you didn't even realize that it was impairing your gait, your walking, right? So, these are the sort of things. Keep your expectation, expectations in check. You know, we, are, we aren't like young little chickadees that bounce and um, flatten and thin. And, you know, a woman my age probably has excess, excess skin, even if she loses. A woman my age probably doesn't have um, the bikini body. Um, you know, she might if she devotes, you know, she has the body trainer come in and she has some surgery work 
work done, as they say, and all that kind of stuff. But most of us don't. Most of us go on the keto, and we we do, we did have a whoosh, maybe. Um, second, whooshes are unlikely. It isn't like every day you're going to get on the scale every week and, you know, drop that two to three. It's not going to happen. Our metabolisms ain't what they used to be. And so if you're not making peace with your expectations, think about it. Be happy with what you have instead of wishing for what you might never have again. Quality of life matters. And if you're whining and always feeling unsatisfied, dissatisfied, discouraged, then maybe, maybe one, you need to make peace with it if you're staying on the keto food plan, or two, find some other food plan because maybe this isn't the one for you. It's not for everybody, but for those of us that want the structure, the discipline, um, and the counting on certain things to be in place and to happen, this is it. You know, it takes patience, it takes tolerance, as most things do at our age, because our bodies <clears throat> aren't always getting better. We just have to make peace with what we've got for today and feel blessed. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. A bit of a smackdown, but not a real smack, smack down. Just a gentle, make peace with your expectations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment below. Bye-bye for now.